Today on World of Fasting Machines, we're in London with a Pakistani gem cutter using the Angora handpiece. The Angora handpiece is the standard faceting handpiece in Pakistan, Afghanistan, and parts of India. The Angora was introduced to Pakistan by Muslim cutters from Jaipur after 1947. Indian cutters also brought these handpieces to Mogok, Myanmar, where they were in use as early as 1927. The handpiece is a simple device consisting of a handle and a circular dop holder connected by two bolts. The cutter can adjust the angle of the facet by angling the dop forward and backwards and there is no index. The cutter must rotate the dop to place every facet by eye. In this workshop, the workstation is completely homemade. There are four laps powered by one motor and the cutter can switch between a tin cutting lap, a tin polishing lap, a CD for polishing, and a felt cabbing lap. His first step in using this handpiece is to dop the stone. He does the wax dopping completely by eye and then does a tiny inspection touch on the polishing lap to allow him to orientate the facets in the direction he wants. In order to keep the dop stick tight in the handpiece, he wraps a strip of cloth around the dop. This allows the dop stick to stay tight but also be able to be rotated as he cuts his facets. He cuts the facets on a tin lap with 0 to 4 diamond powder while keeping the lap wet with his finger. Once the facets are cut, he switches to either the CD with chromium oxide or another tin polishing lap with 0 to 2 micron diamond. He applies the diamond powder to the lap with a small brush when he needs to. He keeps the stone cool by occasionally dipping it into the water bucket next to the lap. He inspects the facets after each touch and must make minute adjustments to the angle and rotation as he goes. Once the stone is finished, he removes the dop and unwraps his cloth and then undops and cleans the stone. His studio is packed full of tools from dops to laps to extra hand pieces and other bits that he might need from time to time. This process as used in London is quite similar to the faceting procedure used in Pakistan. The cutters in Peshawar are using Angora handpieces on a variety of laps, including their favorite technique of stacking a 6-inch topper on top of an 8-inch topper to save time in the cutting process. If you want to see more of the Angora handpiece in action, then check out our other video about kunzite cutting where we follow the cutting journey from preform to polish, start to finish. Thanks for watching and see you soon on World of Faceting Machines.